guys. Hey guys. Okay, so today's video. Well, welcome back to our channel, I guess I should say. First. Thanks for showing up. My hair looks like this and it has all day. I'm not changing it for a video. <laughs> so if you don't like it, then just, I don't know. Okay? Hair, just, don't care. So today's video is not going to be a game, a challenge, or a tag, or anything like that. It's just a good old straightforward beer review. But I will say it's not a regular beer review because you will not be seeing your typical in BBT videos light versus dark and that sort of thing. We're actually going to be exploring uh, a style which we have visited a couple of times and we have not found one yet that has truly converted us into liking this style. We are doing sours, tart ales, fruit beers, whatever you want to call them. Um, recently we had one fruit beer that we did like though by Founders and that yes. was Blushing Monk but it wasn't a sour or a tart beer it was just simply a fruit beer and I don't think that either of us is opposed to fruity beers or fruit in beer right like we're not really no, no, I'm, it's not a, fully against it's not it. It's not against it. You'd rather well, go for Hoppy Bitter and I'd rather go Deep and Dark but we do like fruity beer. So, but today we're not doing that. Today we're doing sours and tarts. Two that I would say are, are pretty sought after and they're reputable breweries, so I'm pretty excited about that. Yes, very reputable. Yes. One of them is my favorite brewery in the and world. it's always good when you have a matching glass. So, enough chatter. We are doing short brewing exterior illumination. It's American sour ale brewed with cranberries, black currants, and northern Michigan Ooh. blue spruce tips. A lot of flavors packed into this beer. Uh, the brewery does not list any of my specs. So while Dana's telling you what he's doing, I'm going to look that up quickly and untapped. And I'm drinking Larry's latest Flamingo Fruit Fight. That was hard to say, harder than it should have been. I love the label, um, it's super cute. Yeah, it looks like the, uh, the added detail. reminds me of the Flamingo in Las Vegas. Um, it also reminds me of Florida in general. Yep. Um, so, I would like to take a picture with that bottle in a pool during summer with Flamingo sunglasses. I'm gonna keep this bottle for that to happen. So follow I, us on Instagram. I mean, summer. Interested to see you find some Flamingo a, Yeah, I'm gonna find them, don't you worry. Sunglasses. There's so many places to find that. Flamingo sunglasses. You can Amazon almost anything. Anyway, this is brewed with tart fruit. It's a tart fruit ale brewed with passion fruit and lime. Um, interesting. It's definitely hazy in the bottle. Yeah. And on the back it says, the name Larry's Latest is a nod to the spirit of innovation and experimentation that Larry started in 1985 and continues within the, bell, uh, the brewery to this day. Our latest beer started when two flamingos walked into a bar. <laughs> Sounds hilarious. That's pretty funny. Uh, so two flamingos walk into a bar. One's wearing sunglasses, the other's not. Yeah. That's the whole joke. Okay. One Googled where to get them. And one didn't? And, yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so this one is 5.3% ABV, 15 IBUs. His is 5%. I don't know the IBUs. I'd assume no that really isn't really anything. No IBUs really listed. It's got a six month shelf life though, and it was packaged January 10th. Yeah, it's uh, new. 2019. Yeah, it's so new. we're well within Got yeah, it. we're good to go. It is, it is fresh. This one, okay, so here's what it says since uh, unlike Bell's, Shorts does not really have a lot of information on the bottle. No shade, just saying. So it says on untapped, dark pink in color with a bright pink head. This beer leads with aromas of tart currant and cranberry followed by hints of spruce. The English Brambling Cross Hops, keep the, I never heard of that, keep the beer from becoming overly sweet and balanced nicely with the tart berry flavor. Lighter in body with a dry mouth feel. The spruce flavors are prominent in the finish, adding a nice complexity. Exterior elimination finishes tart and dry. I can tell you off that if that is accurate to what it actually tastes like I probably will not like it um, but I'm open to trying it and maybe I will like it but I don't think I will <laughs> I don't like dry and I'm not huge on tart I don't like sour or tart things in candy or desserts or anything so I don't I don't really like it in beer either it doesn't translate well you know I mean, I'm open to try it I'm open to try well we bought it so we better be Right. Let's You're open right. up these beers and do a dual pour. We gotta save the cap for our map because that's really cute. The cap, and if you want to bring it closer to the lens, they can kind of see it's super adorable. Two little flamingos. It's a great looking cap. Hazy. Pink. Alright. Very pink. Very hazy. Looks like rose or a. It does. It looks like a fruity beer for sure. Yeah. But yours is more fruity, I think, in some ways. Well, mine's gonna probably pay homage. Mine's gonna to, be dry and bitter as well, though. Um, ooh, something smells spooky. I don't know if it's mine or yours. Probably mine because of the spruce tips. Yours is hazy. Totally different colors. Yeah, for sure. 
My beer looks like the color that matches the Bell's color story of their bottle art here, and his beer looks like it would go with mine better. It's kind of funny. If I swapped them, I think it would actually like visually look. Nobody like would ever understand. Nobody would ever know. Probably, except no. for the breweries. Yeah, they would be like, that's not it, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's not Okay, nice. so yours has almost no head at all. Mine does have a light pink head like they described. It looks more refreshing, delicious, than it probably will taste. That's my preconceived notion. And because this is a beard that style we don't like, I want to say what we are excited about and not excited about. If we're going to do like a series of styles we don't like and actually do this as a thing. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited about the color of my beer. Yeah, because it looks sure like a double IPA. I'm end up liking it. Mm-hmm. But grapefruit and lime, or passion fruit and lime, it's gonna be, it's kind of a strange combination. Yeah, it's I agree. It's definitely gonna be on the bitter side would be my expectation, so. Okay, now I want, here's what I wanna do really quick because we're doing beer styles we don't like, and yeah, I know, uh, that we're not super excited about. Um, let's put something on that. Well, well I can't right now. Um, no, we're we're designing our bar top right now, but it's gonna be an upcoming video once it's finished, but it's in the middle stages, so we're not gonna explain a lot of work. why it looks like this. But anyway, I want you to tell me what you what your preconceived idea of what your rating will be out of five before you drink it. I'm gonna think that mine's gonna be a two point two five. I hope wow. to prove wrong, but that's what I believe it will be. I think mine's gonna be around a three. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's get a nose first. Nasty. Ooh. Smells nasty. Smells sour. It just smells curdled. Bad. Not good. I don't smell a lot of fruit there. I get currant, I guess. I get like the currant, which is a dry, gritty berry that's yeah, over dominant. Yeah. Okay. Mine's, Cheers. Well, yeah. Okay. Mine. Yeah. Okay, nope. Yep, it, yeah. it smells like a lime. Not a lime and a does. coconut. It smells like a lime. Not a lime and a coconut. You don't put a lime in a passion, passion fruit, fruit and fruit, mix it all together. But, uh, I mean, it's. But they did. All right, let's go. Let's see where it goes. Oh. Yep. Wow. Um, oh, God. I changed mine. I changed my rating. I actually, and my reaction doesn't really prove that, but it's better than a 2.25, but it is not much better. I would give it a 2.5. And and that's that's biased because again, I don't like this style, but I want to drink the whole thing. We're gonna probably turn the camera off. We're gonna drink, we're gonna play darts, and then we're gonna see if maybe by the end of the glass, it's grown on us because sometimes for your taste buds, having something that's tart or sour it's all your mind perceives and then you don't really like feel or taste everything, I think. So I kind of want to like drink the whole thing and then come back to it, but now you say what you think about yours. You gave it originally, you were hoping it would be a three. It's more like a one and a half. Really? It's the worst thing I've ever had in my mouth in my life. No. Worse than Brussels sprouts. What about the Malibu beer no, that I had, that nasty? absolutely horrific. It tastes like I just sucked out a lime that was carbonated. It's terrible. Is it as bad as when at the bar in Florida, while we were at the poolside bar at our hotel in Tampa, when the person, without asking me, shoved a lime into my beer? Is it worse than that? Because I feel like it's not. Yeah, it is. Okay, well, let's see. Let's switch, and then I need to go, sw I need to like turn dinner, and we're gonna play a game of darts, and then shut the camera off, come back at the end of the beer. Like the last sip, we need to like come back at it. Yours is better than mine. Larry, why? Why, Larry? It's not a one and a half, but it's gross. Uh, I don't like lime. I like lemon over lime, I would say. Yeah, um, lime is really, really harsh and kind of offensive. It's, it's, it's not, it's not great. Um, if you like lime, then you don't agree with that, but I don't like lime, so that's all I get from this. I don't really know 100% what passion fruits taste like, but I don't taste anything except for lime in that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not great, but I wouldn't say it's a one and a half. I would say that it's probably a two. Oh, I wouldn't. I would say a two, just because I'm, I'm trying to be- I'm ashamed that Bell's made that beer. Can't I'm... be offensive to the brewery just because you don't like the style. Well. They gotta keep pushing out things and pushing boundaries and trying new things, and some people like it and some people don't. I don't happen to like it, but that's like someone hating IPAs and going, I'm ashamed that Bell's made, you know, the Lampshade Party Ale or any of the amazing Bell's IPAs. You can't, you gotta take it back. You don't say sorry to Bell's. Sorry, Bell's. Okay, Larry, we're gonna play some darts. Let me think his thoughts. 
We're gonna play some darts. We're gonna drink our beer. Somebody out there likes this style beer, and it's probably wonderful for them. But it is not. And if you're one of those people who like sours and tarts, I've said this before in videos. I let us know in the comments down below what beers we should be trying that represent the style in a way that would be good for people who don't like it. Um, I'd like to know because I'm still open. I just haven't. This is maybe the sixth or seventh beer that we have done um, or tried, and we just don't like them. We just don't like them. But we still get them in tasters, and we still buy them, obviously. To try I wish them. there was salt around the rim on this glass. That might actually make it better. And possibly tequila. This would be good as a mixer. That would be good as a mixer be, for a beer mixed be. drink because it would be good if it was like mellowed down by other things. Yes, it would be good as a tequila margarita style thing. Okay, we'll see you guys when we're near to the bottom of the glass, which is going to be painful for Dana, but we'll see you guys in a little bit. We're going to play darts. I'm still shaking. Uh, like... what, you'll be fine. Oh. You'll be fine. Dinner is almost done and we're on our last sips. If you've noticed, we've switched beers. We did. Not because I wanted to, because Dana refused to drink this. He also said that he hates it so much he would dump it down the sink. So I drank more of it and he did not. He drank this one. I drank a little bit of both. If you notice, I mean the time lapse goes very quickly, but also that weird part where I was like showing my knees and stuff. I was not doing some weird dance. I was showing you that I'm wearing adorable pajama pants that have beer on them. Will you hold my leg if I kick it? See? Beer pajamas. Yeah. Back to the facts here. Did I win at darts? No. Was it a close game? Yes. Who won? You twice, because you got the better beer as well. Actually, uh, <laughs> this beer is only better because it doesn't hurt my tooth. Otherwise, I don't like either one of them. So did this, so did this you, grow on you at, at all throughout drinking it? Not even a little bit? I, I am not a sour beer person. I'm not saying we're going to be converted into beer. No, into I'm just, I, 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 like, I, you know, I wasn't into stouts, and I'm coming around. But so it took maybe, a long time of, like, consistent Maybe at some taste. point I will find one that I don't know, because the thing as, is, like, I like IPAs more than I ever did. I definitely would say that I like them now. I do not love them. I'm not obsessed with them. I'm not a hophead, but I like them. Dana likes stouts. He's not a stout guy. He's not a dark beer person. He hasn't no. necessarily come to the dark side, but he visits once in a while. I visit. He visits I visit. the dark side. And I'm getting more and more But that's because we constantly are drinking so, those styles and sharing and reviewing together. We're never going to really constantly do sour beers because we don't like them. But what I will say is for this beer, I initially gave it a... You gave it a one and a half. I gave it a two. Yeah. I would stick with that because I think before I was being a little bit generous. It was probably more of a 1.75, but it's Bell, so it just felt so harsh to give it such a low rating. But now I give it like a two because it has grown on me a little. Do I like it? Not even the slightest. But at first it was revolting and puckering and too sour and nasty and just not great at all. After a while, the harshness dulls down and it's less terrible. My tastes just aren't as offended by it, but I'm really pumped to not drink it and to drink something else with dinner. Not this. Yeah, not this would be great. Yeah. So let's so, take our last sip yeah. and uh, agree that we are open. St I'm still open to try I'm, more, right? I would be open, but I would be open in the form of a taster, not a full bottle, I think. Well, what and if we got one and we just shared it then? Because then, then it would be that theoretically would be less. less yeah, that would be less offensive. But, but I mean, you have to. When we start on on the road to tasting, and I, I'm going off tangent, but we usually do flight boards. Oh and, yeah. You yeah. know, when we do flight boards, if you don't like something like that, it's easy to plug your nose and swallow it. Because it's four to five ounces. Because it's yeah, it's small. I hate pouring beer down the drain, but I definitely would. I I won't because I I just I'm not really into that. It has to be real bad for me to do that. And I, if you guys have been watching for a while, you've definitely seen me pour one or two beers on the bonfire. I remember that time in the bonfire. Yeah. Was that the same night you lost the Spiegel? No, it was not. But thanks for bringing that up. That's great. We have one less stout glass than we should because one of them broke. I and thought it made we replaced me, that. 
No, we are replaced uh, IPAs. We give you more IPA glasses. Well, Go yeah, figure. I, you know, I take care of my glassware. That's all I'm saying. Which, Excuse me? I'm just, my glassware is up long. Excuse me? I'm just saying I take care of it. You need to take that back. I take it back. Or we're going to have terrible times I, off camera. I apologize, Bells and Eileen. You won't I get any mac and cheese. I made homemade baked mac and cheese with asparagus in it. Well, the asparagus makes it sound healthy, and I don't like that. Well, it's not because of a sodium content. It's not, content. but... Let, we're getting way off tangent. I'm sorry, anyway. Drink good beer. Be open to beer in general, whether it's good or not. Oh. Drinking it, like, between throwing darts was, like, quicker. <sighs> not drinking it for five minutes and drinking it all of a sudden. I feel like I negate everything I just said. It's bad. It's not great. It's, it's just the bottle's still cute, so I'm still I'm gonna totally take a I'm picture sure with it. Though. That Bell's had a reason for doing it, but Larry, uh, Larry did. Larry, it. Larry did this. Should not. No. I mean, give me a hop slam. Let me have that. Yeah, for sure. Please. Jeez, tell me how you really feel. I did tell you. I only speak the truth, especially if I'm drinking. Well, how about you do us a favor and never buy those beers again? I'm not buying those exact ones again, but I mean, we're still gonna try sours. So leave us a comment, guys. If you have a sour you recommend, otherwise, watch more right here and subscribe right, right here. here. Cheers! Cheers.